For a dairy cow to be productive, she must produce a calf annually. Artificial breeding has placed the responsibility onto farmers and artificial breeding companies to deliver the semen to the cow. But equally important is the ability to find the cows in estrus or heat, that period of sexual excitement when the cow stands willingly for herd mates to mount or the bull to serve her. Good heat detection programs can have a major impact on overall herd reproductive performance. While it seems obvious that cows not detected on heat will not get pregnant to AB, the key to ensuring semen is not wasted and cows conceive at the right time is accurate heat detection. You can miss a cow that is actually on heat, or you can misinterpret the signs shown by a cow and think she's on heat when she's not. If you miss a lot of heats, the submission rate of your herd will be low. The submission rate is a key driver of the six-week in-calf rate. You're aiming for high submission rates, but you don't want to achieve this by inseminating cows that are not on heat. High submission rates and good conception rates are essential for high six-week in-calf rates. The graph shows that herds with high submission rates, circled, also have high six-week in-calf rates. Within the cow's reproductive system, the follicle and corpus luteum develop on the ovaries in a 21-day estrus cycle and in turn influence the hormone levels and animals' behavioural characteristics. This short sexual display signals the climax of the 21-day cycle and the imminent release of the ovum from the follicle. It may only last a few hours, but it's associated with other important events during the 24 hours of estrus. We will trace these various happenings with the aid of this 24-hour estrus clock. Preheat or pre estrus will last approximately three hours as the luteinizing hormone and the follicle stimulating hormone levels increase in the later stages of the cycle. It triggers the behavioural changes in the cow whereby she will join with other excited herd mates. Preheat can vary considerably. Some cows may not even display it at all, but will go straight into standing heat. Standing heat may last for as little as one hour, or maybe as long as ten or more hours. But in general, cows in New Zealand will have a standing heat of approximately five hours. In natural mating, the bull serves the cow in the standing heat period. Passage of the sperm through the genital tract and the fallopian tubes will take about six to ten hours, but they will be present in the tubes before the release of the ovum. The egg will remain in the fallopian tubes, able to be fertilized for a further six hours before it is reabsorbed. Ovulation and fertilization are not instantaneous. Once the egg has been released from the ovary, it travels to the fallopian tubes, but it must be in the presence of sperm for three or four hours before it can be fertilized. Likewise, the sperm themselves must be within the fallopian tubes for a period of two or three hours before they are capable of fertilizing the egg. In the six hours that is required for fertilization, the sperm must be present prior to that event occurring. Sperm will survive in the genital tract between 24 and 36 hours. Therefore, to get them into the genital tract prior to ovulation, we can inseminate anywhere in the later stages of standing heat. This will give ample time for the sperm to be present for that period to capacitate before ovulation occurs. It also allows the human observer time to ascertain the cow's eligibility for artificial insemination and improve the chances of seeing the signs of cows in heat and then mating them at the right time. Firstly, we must know all the signs that a cow is about to, is or has been in heat. Secondly, we should use all available aids such as Estratex. And thirdly, we should endeavour to make our observations at the most optimum time to observe heat. Heat detection, signs and methods. Do you know how to pick a cow that is on heat? And how about your staff? Heat detection is one of the most valuable parts of your farming operation and one in which you can make a real difference. Let's refresh ourselves on the symptoms of cows on heat so that everybody can keep an eye out. A cow is most likely to be on heat if she stands to be mounted by other cows or her estrotect or other heat detection aid has been triggered. Other signs of estrus include cows that are restless, perhaps feeding less, walking around more, bellowing, gather in close groups with increased body contact, sniff each other and attempt to ride each other.
Take note of the whole group. Timid cows may join the group, but fail to demonstrate other strong signs of estrus. Show scuff, saliva, or mud marks on their backs and flanks, have mucus around the vulva, or may come into the shed in a different order, or have poor milk let down. Cows with at least two of these signs are possibly on heat, but showing only weak signs. Some will not be on heat. Make sure everyone knows what to do with cows that are showing weak signs of heat. Normally, you can expect cows or heifers to show signs of heat every 18 to 24 days, with an average of around 21 days. Cows often have a short cycle after their first heat post-calving and are in heat again 8 to 12 days later. The average interval from calving to first heat in pasture-fed cows in good body condition is 35 to 45 days. It's about 10 days longer than this in first calving heifers. It's important that everyone on the farm knows the signs of heat. You may know them, but do all the members of the farm team? And is there a communication system in place to ensure all cows on heat are drafted for AB? Apply heat detection aids and begin detecting and recording cows on heat from 35 days before mating start date. Detecting and recording heats for at least three weeks prior to the start of mating will reveal which cows are not cycling in time for you to make a difference. Pre-mating heat detection is also a great time to get everyone's heat detection skills up to scratch and allows you to anticipate which cows will come on heat when. It should be pointed out that heat detection aids are just that, aids to assist in heat detection. It still requires good observation and judgment. It is both impractical and impossible to maintain a 24-hour vigil of the herd. So to make the most of your heat detection observations, check during the most productive periods of activity. Displays of heat normally occur around the milking period, but observations are best done before the cows are brought out of the paddock. Spend 5 or 10 minutes with the herd prior to milking. Most will wait patiently, but those on heat will make themselves very obvious. Often, cows detected on heat in the paddock will not be seen on the walk into the shed. How does the cow's daily schedule of activity affect heat detection? During the October to November period when most cows are mated, a dairy cow's working day will fall into defined periods of activity. Starting at about 11.30 at night, they will get up and graze through to about half past one or two o'clock in the morning, when they will follow this with a period of rest until the morning milking. It's in the period of darkness that the majority of cows will come into estrus or standing heat, and these will be observed around the morning milking. If all cows were to be segregated that are in season, you would find very little new estrus activity occurring in the next heavy period of grazing, immediately after the morning milking through to about 9.30 or 10 o'clock. This would then be followed by another period of rest through to approximately 12 o'clock. The cows will then get up and graze again through until about 2.30 in the afternoon. Again, this will be followed by a period of rest, and the majority of cows coming in estrus just prior to the afternoon milking. A heavy period of grazing immediately after the afternoon milking will not show very many additional estrus cows to those already observed at the afternoon milking, and this will be followed by another period of rest. So it can be seen from this chart that the majority of cows come in estrus around the milking period both morning and afternoon and observation should be confined to the period just immediately prior to milking, as this is the most productive time to find cows in estrus. Immediately after the milking is another good time to observe for cows that may have come in season during the milking. The same is applicable to the morning milking, although it can be difficult to make observations prior to this milking due to lack of light. In addition to pre-milking checks, we should always observe immediately after milking for any estrus activity. Remember, the best place to observe estrus is in the paddock, walking amongst the cows, not sitting on a motorbike. Take your time to identify those cows that are in estrus. It's so important. Accurate recording of cows on heat is paramount. Use a notebook or farm management mobile device to ensure that the right cow is recorded as identified on heat. Inseminate the cow and apply a different coloured estrotect at the next milking. 
Dairy New Zealand's in-calf programme recommends a six-week in-calf rate of at least 68% for New Zealand herds, with top farmers achieving around 78%. This measure of success is directly related to conception rate and three-week submission rate, and this in turn is driven by accurate heat detection. It's worth getting it right. Make sure that you accurately detect the maximum number of cows in heat within your herd and that all the staff understand when a cow is in heat. There is no simple recipe for achieving good reproductive performance. Every farm is different and will require its own reproduction management plan. The aim of a reproduction management plan is to maximise the rate at which cows in your herd get in calf. Your herd is the most productive asset you'll ever own. Contact us to see how they can work even better for you. Visit crvforall.co.nz or phone 0800 262 733 for more information and assistance.